1954, the first successful kidney transplant took place and has since been a viable option for those in need of a kidney. Recently, however, the paired exchange donation has been being used instead of transplant. Nancy DeSanto, the living donor coordinator for Pinnacle Health, explains what exactly the paired exchange is. It is when your um, the patient has a uh, approved kidney donor, but they are not compatible for either um, blood type incompatibility or tissue type incompatibility. Although two people might not be a match, they are entered into paired exchange, which searches for other possible matches among people who are dealing with the same struggle. A match could form within several hours after being um, submitted um, to a couple days, to a couple weeks, to a couple months, but it still gives them the opportunity um, in a broader field um, for that possibility. <laughs> the best part about this program is that there is a recipient there that um, may not have, they, their only chance is with one person, one donor, and if they're not compatible, this gives them an opportunity to get a living kidney um, from someone else. Dr. Heather Schenk, an audiologist, has experienced the benefits of paired exchange firsthand when her boyfriend Ted was suffering from kidney failure and she was unable to be a direct match. So he started dialysis in January of 2014. His condition throughout that, um, prior to dialysis, he had a lot of discomfort because when your kidneys aren't functioning well, you tend to hold fluid. Um, one of the things that your kidneys do is, it, is they remove excess fluid from your body and when they're not, you end up getting like swelling in your feet and hands and just all and in your joints and everything and, and it, it was really bad. Well, Heather was a match at first. After her boyfriend went through dialysis, his antibody count changed, meaning that he and Heather's kidneys would no longer be compatible. Paired exchange was then offered to the couple. It, it took me about five minutes to like think through all this stuff and I'm like, paired exchange, that's great actually because if there's one out there that's better for him, why wouldn't I want Dr. Yang to be able to choose that for him rather than giving him mine? A chain was formed after two weeks and then it came time for Heather and her boyfriend's surgeries. He was so excited, you know, and I was probably more scared than excited um, if I'm going to be completely honest, just because I never had major surgery before. Following surgery, because of paired exchange, Heather's boyfriend's life has dramatically changed. And he feels alive again. Like he describes being in dialysis as being kept alive, but not really being alive. I mean, sometimes people will uh, want to donate and they're not a good enough match, so they don't. Well, that's not that's not even a, 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 a problem anymore because if you want to donate to someone and you're not a match, well, great, get in the Paired Exchange program and they'll find matches for both of you. That will be even better. Paired Exchange is continuing to be more common and is saving lives every day. For Hemfield Happenings, I'm Julia Gibbons.